Silent in Darpur is a great game from 2012 that was only on PS3. Now I play it on Steam Deck at about 40-45 FPS. Sometimes the frame rate drops, but the game still plays well. To make it run correctly, you need a few settings and an update. I'll show you those in today's video. Let's get started. The most important thing you need is the last version of RPCS3 emulator, especially for Linux. You can easily download it from their website. It's important to use this version because the one from Discover will crash after the intro tutorial. Where you enter the elevator, you get a black screen and the game won't continue. Don't worry, if you already have on the RPCS3 from Discover, you can have both version of RPCS3 on your Steam Deck and use each one for different things. Just a small note, the Linux version of RPCS3 won't show the memory card, so you need to keep Silent Hill directly in the Steam Deck storage, or you can right click the game folder, copy its path and paste it into the Steam Deck memory. After you find the folder with your legally owned game in the emulator, you still need to update the game. It's quick, just click the game, choose update and the emulator will offer the update automatically. Install it and simple click apply. Now that we have the latest RPCS3 and the newest game patch, we just need to do a quick custom configuration setup. Go to CPU settings and choose Vulkan as the renderer. Set the resolution to 720p and the resolution scale to 150. Most importantly, set the resolution scale threshold to 513 by 513. This fix the flashing screen bug. Then make sure to check right color buffers. Finally, go to the advanced tab and check disable vertex cache. If you want more than 30 FPS in the game, set VBlank frequency to 120 Hz. Click apply and that's it. The game should now run correctly. If it doesn't, try copying the rest of the CPU and GPU settings I used. But like I said at the start, without the latest Linux version of RPCS3, the game won't run correctly. I hope it works for you. I've been playing the game for a few hours and really enjoy it. The locations are well designed and for a 2012 title, the graphics still looks great. Because it was a PS3 exclusive, most people can play it without emulation and that made me even more curious. It's a hidden game. It's also the last original game in the series. Yes, Silent Hill 2 from 2024 exists, but it's a remake that mostly tried to follow the original. And we are still waiting for the brand new Silent Hill F, so why not enjoy this amazing game in the meantime? If you liked the video and I helped you to get it running, I'd really appreciate a subscribe. I'll be making lots of other cool gaming content. Take care and have a great day.